Welcome to the Moore Center Community Spotlight. I'm your host, Teresa Dinesi. Today, we're thrilled to welcome a board member and great supporter of the Moore Center, Marianne Aldrich. Hi, Marianne. Good afternoon. Welcome. Thank you. It's nice to be here. So you're with Dartmouth Hitchcock. I am. So I have been there um, 20 years this August. My goodness. So you're the Senior Advisor for Community Relations? I am currently. That's correct. And what do you do in that role? Um, a lot of community service mm. uh, and working to represent Dartmouth with all of the colleagues that I have within the system to be out and giving back to the community through whatever way we can. Wonderful. So you're also a board member of the Moore Center and your tenure actually has gone back a few years and then you sort of termed off and now you're back with us. Yes, I'm very fortunate. Um, they asked me to come back. It's a sort of like going home, which really made me feel very honored. How did you first sort of become aware of the Moore Center and what they're all about? I was the operations director for the Manchester Division for um, almost 18 years. And during that time, obviously, we service a lot of individuals throughout the community who have varying needs. A lot of those patients are more center clients. Wonderful. So you've interacted with staff and clients on a, on a large basis, it sounds Absolutely. Like. What is the thing that sort of impresses you the most about the agency and sort of your experience with them? The mission, vision, and values of the organization are incredible. Mm -hmm. And, you know, to take intellectually and um, otherwise challenged individuals and give them an opportunity to be part of the community with the support that the Moore Center is able to give is truly a gift to our community. I imagine. So have you seen sort of the perception of the Moore Center and what they're all about that's become a lot more um, visible in the community? People have become more aware of their mission. They are, and I think one of the reasons that that happens is the leadership there really feels that the community is part of the support that lets them be the organization that they currently are. Mm -hmm. The garden party that we do every year, of which course. Which is tomorrow. Which is tomorrow. Yeah. We're hoping it's not going to rain. I know. Uh, is always a great awareness builder. Sure. I think they usually have over 400 people that come to that. That's their signature fundraising event for it the is. year. It is. And it's a chance for me to wear a hat. There you go. It's one of the things that I do. And every year there's a few more ladies that do it. It's been fun. Yeah. So it sounds like you have a lot on your plate with, with your work with Dartmouth Hitchcock as well as your service, your, your service with the Moore Center. Do you have any free time or how does that work? I do. Yeah. I do. I'm very blessed. I uh, have a little apartment up in Agunquit, Maine. So particularly this time of year, I'm able to escape and have some mental health time up oh, there. That's wonderful. So in your role in, with community relations, have you seen sort of the public perception of folks with de developmental disabilities sort of change with more acceptance, more awareness um, in, your, in your experience? I have. And during my tenure on the board, um, we were part of a program called Project Search in collaboration with CMC. And individuals went through an organized training program. And we at Dartmouth hired one of the graduates. And that young man is still working with us. Oh, that's wonderful. He does a great job. He works in our facility department, and he's a breath of fresh air. Yeah, and I know the Moore Center has so many folks that are out in, in various industries across the community that are really providing um, a great service to their, their positions. Yeah, within the Dartmouth-Hitchcock system, we have several Project Search graduates, not just in Manchester, but uh, in Nashua and up at the Medical Center in Lebanon as well. Mm -hmm, wonderful. Well, Marianne Aldrich, thank you so much for being with us today, and thank you for your board service and for all you do to advocate for the men and women the Moore Center supports. We appreciate it. I'm very proud to do it and thank you for having me. You're welcome. I'm Teresa Dinesi. Thank you for joining us. We'll see you next time. The Moore Center is a nonprofit statewide organization with a legacy of serving others for over 60 years. We provide compassionate, high quality, cost effective services to people of all ages, from early intervention services for children to programs and services for adults with developmental disabilities, to home care services for seniors wishing to remain independent in their own homes. We also provide training for the human services workforce. To learn more about this award-winning nonprofit organization and its rich history of creating opportunities for a good life, please visit us at morecenter.org.